The Hallmark Channel is running like a well-oiled machine, especially during the holiday season when their made-for-TV Christmas movies are breaking viewership records. Of course, the actors are getting compensated for their hard work, but how much? Check out today's video of the top 10 highest paid Hallmark actors. Starting off with number 10, we have Paul Campbell. Paul Campbell is this super talented actor, writer, and director from Canada who's been killing it in the Hallmark Channel scene. You might recognize him from some of his popular movies like Surprised by Love and Once Upon a Holiday. People really connect with him because he has this amazing ability to bring his characters to life in a way that is both relatable and charming. But get this, he's not just an actor. Paul's also written and directed some indie films, and one of them even won an award. So it's no surprise that as of 2023, his net worth is estimated to be $1 million. He's been in the biz for over 20 years, and he's been in some other awesome TV shows like Battlestar Galactica, The Dead Zone, and Spun Out. This guy's got skills, and he's super passionate about what he does. You can bet he's got some exciting projects on the horizon, so keep your eyes peeled for Paul Campbell. Moving on to number nine, so I know you guys know Tyler Hines. He is a Canadian actor and director who starred in some major flicks like It Was Always You, On the Twelfth Date of Christmas, and The Mistletoe Secret. People love him because he can really bring the realness and emotion to his characters. Plus, he's directed a bunch of TV movies and short films, which is pretty dope. In an interview, Tyler talked about making a movie in 15 days. Can you imagine? He talked about the challenges he faced and said, Overcoming the circumstances that you're in, with the way we make these movies to try to do something that feels authentic or has some sort of feeling to it this is because this is the challenge tyler is such a hard-working person this surely explains his success word on the street is that tyler's net worth as of 2023 is around two million dollars not too shabby right he's been in the biz for over a decade so it's no surprise that he's made bank this actor has talent and dedication and he's definitely earned respect in the entertainment industry and get this, he's even directing his first feature film called The Mistletoe Mix-Up. So keep an eye out for Tyler Hines, cause this dude is going places. Up next, number eight. Lacey Chabert is an amazing actress from the United States who has become a household name on the Hallmark Channel. She has starred in a number of Hallmark movies, including Pride, Prejudice, and Mistletoe, and The Sweetest Christmas. Her talent for portraying relatable characters has made her a fan favorite and she has become one of the most recognizable faces on the network. As of 2023, Chabert is worth around $5 million. She has been in the entertainment industry since she was a child, and her acting career has continued to flourish. With several new projects in the works, it's clear that Lacey will continue to be a major force in the entertainment world for years to come. On to number seven, this United States actor has gained popularity through his work on Hallmark. He has appeared in several successful Hallmark Channel movies, such as Stranded in Paradise, for Love and Honor, and The Christmas Pageant. And he has won fans over with his portrayal of strong yet sensitive male characters. Apart from his work on the Hallmark Channel, Denton has also been part of popular TV shows like Desperate Housewives and Devious Maids. As of 2023, Denton's net worth is estimated to be approximately $7 million. He has been a part of the industry for more than 20 years and has earned a reputation as a versatile actor. Denton is also musically talented and has released several albums. His commitment to his art and ability to connect with audiences have earned him a great deal of respect in the industry. With many new projects in the works, including the upcoming Hallmark Channel film, Taking the Reins, it's clear that James is only here to rise to better heights. Next up, number six. Brennan Elliott is a Canadian actor who's killing it in the movie and TV world. He was born on March 24th, 1975 in Calgary, Alberta, Canada and you might have seen him in a bunch of Hallmark Channel original movies, such as Christmas at Grand Valley and Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries. He's got a huge fan base thanks to his work in these movies and is one of Hallmark's leading men. But that's not all. Brennan has also been in other TV shows and movies like Strong Medicine, CSI Miami, and Night at the Museum, Secret of the Tomb. For his recent movie, Merry Go Round, he talked about the beauty of filming in Europe. He said, It would immerse through the film um, and I haven't had an opportunity. Obviously, I've been to Vienna, Austria, which was, I mean, just incredible. And so when you go to these locations, um, you become a part of that culture, a part of that environment. He's been praised for his acting skills. And let's be real, his good looks and charming personality have made him a hit with audiences. So how much money has he made? As of 2023, Brennan Elliott's net worth is estimated to be around $10 million. 
Not too shabby for a guy who's been entertaining us for years. Moving on to number five. Andrew Francis is a Canadian actor who's definitely making a mark in the movie and TV world. He was born on May 27, 1985 in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And you might have seen him in some Hallmark Channel original films, such as Love Under the Stars, Love at First Bark, and Chesapeake Shores. He's also done voice work for a few animated TV shows, including My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, and Transformers, Rescue Bots. But that's not all. Andrew has also been in other TV shows and movies like Supernatural, The Killing, and Final Destination 3. So how much money has he made? As of 2023, Andrew Francis's net worth is estimated to be around $10 million. That's a pretty impressive amount for an actor who's still relatively young. Up next, number four. Jesse Metcalf has definitely made a name for himself in the entertainment biz. He was born on December 9th, 1978 in Carmel Valley Village, California. You might have seen him in some Hallmark original movies like Christmas Next Door, Christmas Under the Stars, and A Country Wedding. He's also been in a few TV shows you might recognize such as Desperate Housewives, Dallas, and Chesapeake Shores. And to top it off, he's even appeared in some movies like John Tucker Must Die, Beyond a Reasonable Doubt, and The Ninth Passenger. Metcalf has received a lot of praise for his performances throughout his career and is still in high demand in Hollywood. As of 2023, he's worth an estimated $12 million, which he's earned through his acting and producing work. In an interview, he dished out the details regarding his successful career at ISF. He said, You know, so I want to work with, you know, producers and directors that inspire me. And I, you know, I want to do a lot more film. I want to do a lot more executive producing. And that's, that's where I'm pushing my career right now. Well, thank God he's planning to do that. On to number three. Catherine Bell, the Iranian-American actress, has made a name for herself in both movies and TV. She was born on August 14, 1968, in London, England. Bell is a regular in the Hallmark Channel's movies and has starred in several popular films like The Good Witch, Home for Christmas Day, and Christmas in the Air. She's also recognized for her work on TV shows like Jag, Army Wives, and The Triangle. Besides acting, Bell has also taken up producing some of her own projects, her performances have received critical acclaim throughout her career, and she continues to gain more fans. Belle's net worth as of this year is estimated to be around $12 million. Her successful acting and producing careers have enabled her to amass this wealth. Her presence in Hallmark movies has endeared her to viewers, and she is set to remain a prominent figure in the industry for years to come. Next up, number two. Christopher Palaha is an American actor who has made a name for himself in movies and TV. He was born on February 18, 1977 in Reno, Nevada. Palaha has starred in a number of Hallmark movies, such as Mystery 101, Rocky Mountain Christmas, and Pearl in Paradise. He's also recognized for his roles in popular TV shows like Life Unexpected, Mad Men, and Condor. Apart from acting, Palaha is also a writer and producer, having worked on a few of his own projects. He's also an author and has already published two bestsellers. In an interview, he talked about his new book and said, The series, we're gonna make five books. So moments like this is the first five. And um, you dress the same too. Look yeah. at that. And that's our oh, second. Wow. So that's, that's our second. Look at me in my quarantine. I look like As of 2023, Christopher Palaha's net worth is estimated to be approximately $15 million which he has accumulated through his successful acting career in Hollywood. His pleasant demeanor and striking looks have garnered him a devoted fan base, and he remains a highly sought after actor. And finally, number one. Paul Green is a well-known Canadian actor who has made a name for himself in the industry. He was born in Alberta, Canada on June 2nd, 1974. Green is a regular feature on the Hallmark Channel and has appeared in a number of their movies, such as A Wish for Christmas, Marry Me at Christmas, and Christmas and Angel Falls. He's also recognized for his work in TV series such as Bitten, When Calls the Heart, and Somewhere Between. In addition to his acting, Green is also a singer and songwriter who has released numerous albums. In an interview, he dished out the details from where he got the inspiration to be an actor. He said, Music, when was that moment for you? That's a great question. I was living on a farm in Northern Canada and somehow at 15, I saw Bloodsport, which is a Jean-Claude Jean Van Damme movie. Yeah, I remember that movie. And Prince, The Purple Rain at the same, <laughs> the same weekend. So I yes. found music, martial arts and acting in like the same weekend and I'm from a very small town. And so I put myself in martial arts and stopped eating sugar. And the day I got my license at 16, I put myself in acting school because I kept waking up in the movies, in my dreams, on the farm, but fighting with Jean-Claude. Wow. 
As of 2023, Paul Green's net worth is estimated to be around 16 million, which he has earned through his successful career in acting, music, and producing. His talent and good looks have brought him this far, and I'm sure he'll only amass more on the go. He has his own YouTube channel, where he has a wide range of podcasts. Well, that's it for today's video. Since Hallmark is introducing several new actors to their channel, who do you think will make this top 10 list by the end of the year? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time.